Let's now do some examples of integrals using spherical coordinates. Our first example is to compute the total mass of the upper half of the unit ball. So it's where x squared plus y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 1, and z is greater than or equal to 0, where the mass density is x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the 3 halves. Well, let's call that mu. Before I was calling the mass density rho, but that would be a bad idea if I want to use spherical coordinates. Okay, so a region is the upper half of the unit ball. And what does this correspond to in spherical coordinates? Well, to be in the unit ball, we just have rho is less than or equal to 1. So that's the equation for the unit ball. And then what does it mean to be in the upper half? Well, remember the coordinate phi. So on the, when z is, when we're on the positive z-axis, phi is equal to 0. When we're on the negative z-axis, phi is equal to pi. And when we're in the xy plane, phi is equal to pi over 2. The upper half space, where z is greater than or equal to 0, is where phi is between 0 and pi over 2. This is the upper half space. The intersection of the upper half space and the unit ball is the region we want. And theta can be anything, and to cover the region exactly once, we'll have theta go from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so the mass that we want to calculate is the integral as phi goes from 0 to pi over 2, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and rho goes from 0 to 1. Okay, now the mass density, this is rho squared to the 3 halves, so that's just rho cubed. And the magnification factor is rho squared sine phi. And then we have um, d rho d theta d phi. And we could actually do this in any of the other five orders also because it's the spherical coordinate version of a box. Anyway, so this is this is the mass density. And this is the magnification factor. Okay, so now that we've set this up, it's not hard to evaluate. So let's do the row integral first. So if integral from 0 to 2, sorry, to pi over 2. Integral from 0 to 2 pi. Now we have to integrate rho to the fifth from 0 to 1. The sine phi is like a constant here. So that just gives me 1 sixth. So I have 1 over 6 times sine phi d theta d phi. Now when I integrate over theta, the sine phi is acting as a constant, so I just have to multiply by 2 pi. So I get the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of um, pi over 3 sine phi d phi. Okay, so this is minus pi over 3 cosine phi evaluated at phi equals pi over 2 and phi equals 0. So at phi equals pi over 2, cosine is 0. So I just get minus pi over 3 times minus cosine of 0, which is plus pi over 3. And as a reality check, I have a positive mass density, so I should be getting a positive total mass, so that's good. And you could also do this in Cartesian coordinates, but it would be considerably messier.